So I like covering DOS games because uh, DOS had a lot of great games, but it turns out people are still writing new games for DOS. And I wanted to show this one because uh, it's a very recent game, but it's also very, very well done. And so it deserves uh, to be shown off a little bit. It's called Post Apocalyptic Petra. Uh, and I'm just gonna play a little bit of the game, but let's first of all, look at uh, what, what's in here. So this is the, uh, I've, I've, I've installed Petra um, and uh, let's look at the readme. So uh, more on readme.txt. Uh, so this was made by Costas and uh, it's post-apocalyptic Petra. Uh, and this is written as part of the MS-DOS game jam this year uh, between February 28 and May 9. So you think about that as like the end of February and the beginning of May, that's like all of March, all of April, uh, five weeks, he says right there, uh, to write this game. And it's it, when you look at it, it's very, very well done. It reminds me a lot of uh, the first couple of Tomb Raider games. Um, and you're playing Petra, who wakes up in a post-apocalyptic scenario. Uh, and you basically have to uh, explore and, uh, and see what's around you. Um, very simple platforming. There's no combat. Uh, here are the keys. Uh, I'm going to just use the arrow keys and uh, you need to do uh, shift if you want to do walk um, and then um, uh, alt to jump uh, control will use an object or grab a ledge uh, enter will pick up an item and escape will bring up an inventory um, and then there's some other things down here right sound is only going to support uh, sound blaster 16 and there's some information down here around maps. Uh, so there's a lot in this game that I think is uh, pretty impressive. I'm just going to show off a little bit of it. So let's go ahead and run Petra. Uh, so here's going to load up some things. And here we have uh, the opening screen. Post-apocalyptic Petra. And here it is loading the game. Now there's no sound right now but you are seeing text coming from uh, basically the computer. Um, and so there's Petra looking very much like Tomb Raider. I mean, this is extremely well done. And I'm just hitting space to continue. So you can see that the computer is talking to you. He's one of five computers tasked with maintaining the facility and keeping everyone alive. You're the last person alive in here. you the last person alive. Where am I? One of the weird beds, right? The pods you just came out of. Computer saying, yep, everyone else left a long time ago and just got a command to wake you up. So uh, can't respond back. His access to the facility has been restricted uh, to just waking me up. You need to update the access on the network so he can reply back to the sender of the command. Now, I'm not going to play the whole game. There's there's uh, uh, there's a lot to explore, uh, and I want you to be able to enjoy this game as well. So I'm just going to play a little bit of it. And so here's Petra saying, "What do you mean, computer?" And the computer's saying, "All right, don't worry about that. All you need to do is just press a button in the control room, right? Very simple, right? And you need to press the button in the control room." All right, and so here we get to uh, move Petra around. So uh, forward button has her run. You can hear a little bit of a noise when she runs. And here's a little object over here on the floor. Now uh, shift will make her uh, walk. Walk backwards one step at a time. And if you remember uh, control, uh, control does nothing. What's control do? Oh, that's just inventory. So uh, Alt will jump and uh, uh, Return will pick things up. There it goes. Remote disk. Trying to read it in the computer. So here's the computer over here, right in front of us. And we'll hit uh, Control and that'll activate the computer. I'm just using the arrow key to go down to Alan's disk. I'm Alan. If you're reading this note in the disk, it means the computer woke you up. It's good, but you need to leave this place. You can find some clothes in the cupboard across your pod. I don't know if you can hear that noise. 
there's some noise. That that noise is coming from uh, behind that door. In fact, if I go next to the door and swing the camera around, that's yeah, out the door, and you're gonna hear some noise. Okay, so let's go ahead and uh, uh, he said the pod uh, is the cupboard across from my my uh, my pod. That looks like it's a crate. Yep, I can I can hop up there. That's that's great. Um, but uh, that looks like it's a cupboard over there. So, no control. All right, another note disc and a set of clothes. All right. Now to read the note. So here I've changed clothes. I'm gonna go over here back to the computer. Control. All right, the door unlock code. I had to put a lock on the door to keep you safe from anyone who try to enter. Do not know the things outside, so this might not be necessary. The door code is 391. So, let's see what else we have in here. Oh, and over here is a little thing on the wall. Let's see what that does. Enter code. I'm going to use the keyboard here, 391. Hey, that door opened. So I can go over there. Run, run, run. Oop. Elevator's been blocked off uh, by debris from an explosion. You need to go to the control room. I have the maintenance area. Okay. Maintenance area. I did play this once before I started uh, doing the demo. Uh, I played it about a week ago, so I don't remember exactly where everything's in here. So I am actually exploring again. What's over here? A little room with some chairs. It's like a television. And then, uh, some, looks like some boxes. There's a computer. Back up a little bit here. See, I'm very impressed by the, by the graphics on this one. As I said, it reminds me a lot of Tomb Raider. There's another button on the wall. What does that do? Apparently, she does not want to hit the button. Not on it. Am I pressing the wrong button? I am pressing the wrong button. Okay, this button is broken. I need to find a cover. I need a button cover somewhere. We have up here. Ooh, a little hallway. Ooh, an electrified floor. Okay, let's go back the way we came. Clearly, I can't go there yet. Climb up. What else do we have down here? Another little hallway. Yeah, that's actually me stopping. I don't want to, like, run into something. What's this on the floor? I have no idea what I just picked up. You know, it might be something for the computer. Let's go back to the computer. I cannot fix this. I hope you can read this, Nenda. I'm sorry I really tried to fix this, but I don't know what to do. It's getting hard to breathe, and Gloria is panicking. We must leave, but I'll come back for you, I promise. All right, well, that's promising. Uh, what else is over here? So we've got this little space down here, and that looks like a door, kind of like what we had over there. But that one looks like it opens down. Uh, let's go back here. Anything back there, right? Ooh, hello. What's this? I'm up there. Oh, there's something on the floor. What is that? Walk over that. Press return. Pick it up. It's a button cover. Oh, yeah. Okay, so let's go back to where we needed the, the button cover. Back here. Oh, this is the back of the... Uh, the cupboard and the uh, and that that uh, crate. Let's go over here. Oops. There we go. Let's get back up the stairs. And where did I need the button cover? That was over here somewhere. 
Oops, wrong way down here. There's the button. And I'm not centered on it. Hey! And that just opened up that space down there. So let's go down back to where we came from. And what's down here? Oops, there we go. Okay, let's be very careful. Ooh, what's up there? Remind ourselves what jump is. Control is jump. Okay, I missed that jump. Do I need to be up there anyway? Anytime I see a spot, I kind of want to be up there. And she's not getting up. Alrighty, well, we'll just drop down. What do we have down here? Let's walk. I'll, like, run into something. Oh, we got a space back here. Not seeing anything up there in there to, to explore. Uh, oh, there's a little spot back there. Let's see what we can do back there. And nothing in there to explore. Let's let's just go down here. Ooh, electrified floor. And some stuff back here. So let's, uh, what do we have back here? Anything to pick up? Very, very, very careful. Not seeing anything to pick up. I'm seeing another corridor back there, though. That's interesting. Let's explore what's down here first. Um... Okay, anything back here? Nothing back there. Okay, anything behind this thing? Nope. Sounds, I think, are very, very good. Can I get up there? Okay, that's just back where I came from. All right. Just wanted to make sure I know where I am. And then what's back here? All right, this was back where I came from originally. All right, now let's see if I can jump over that without dying. Control is going to jump. All right. Made it past the electrified floor. Oh, and then there's another tunnel. Let's go in there. I'm not going to jump onto anything. At least not that's going to kill me, so I can go down there. Ooh, something else on the floor. What's that? A note disc. I hate my job. <laughs> All right, um, so I don't want to play the entire game here, and it kind of feels like if I go much further, I'm going to be playing a significant part of the game. But you can see there's there's a lot going on in this game. Uh, I'll just uh, I'll pause there. Uh, let me get out of the space so I can stop making noise. Um, the uh, well, actually as, well, as long as I'm here before I quit, let's go actually explore what's down here. Yeah, there's nothing. Oh, there's there's something on the wall. And the valve is stuck. It's some sort of lubricant. Yeah, there's a lot going on in this game. That's an electrified floor. Let's avoid that. And let's go up there. And up there. You know, I'd, I'd meant to stop this game, uh, but it is actually kind of addicting. So I think I do need to stop myself. Uh, so what do you think about uh, post-apocalyptic Petra? There's quite a lot to, uh, to explore there. Um, and uh, I'll put a link to the download in the video description. Uh, before I go, I just want to uh, thank everybody who supports me on Patreon. You really do make this channel happen. Uh, some of you are supporting me at a higher level, and I want to thank you especially here. So thank you very much. Uh, and uh, are there any other games or programs you'd like me to try out? Uh, mention those in the comments below. Visit our website at freedos.org. Join us on Facebook. Follow us on Twitter. And consider supporting me on Patreon. Thank you.